Okay, so now we're going to be adding the AFM uh, filter media to the filter here. We've got a 350 pound brand new filter. And um, you can also use AFM in uh, pre-existing filters. If you're changing the sand to glass, you're still gonna follow the same uh, processes. Also, I want you to know that on the education center uh, at zerochlorpoolsystems.com at the bottom of the page, there is a chart that will outline to you exactly how much of each grade of AFM to put into the filter. In this case, we've got a 350 pound filter. Um, AFM, you can actually use uh, up to 15% less than the, um, the sand that you would normally use in a filter and it, and it works out fine. So in this 350 pound filter, we're actually gonna be putting in 330 pounds of AFM. And the first thing that you put in to cover the laterals at the bottom of the filter is grade three AFM. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna start adding the grade three AFM to the filter. Make sure you've got the uh, protector on, obviously, to keep it from going inside of the pipe. This is the process I like to use to fill uh, glass filters. I like to set the bag on top of the filter and then cut it so that it, it's, uh, you're not hurting your back. You also want to spin it around to kind of evenly uh, lay out the bed of the glass on the on the bottom of the filter. Okay, after this, and I'm not going to video every uh, single bag that we put in, but after this, we're going to do the exact same process, but with one bag of grade two AFM. And then uh, once that's in, we're gonna put in uh, five bags of, I, I take that back, I'm sorry, four bags of grade one AFM on top of uh, grade, the grade three bed and the grade two bed. And then we're gonna be finished. Very simple process.